Hey, uh, just, um, we didn't get to talk to you after the game. Got a sack strip and, uh, helped, uh, you know, helped the team out there. How'd that feel to get that going? Felt good. Um, you know, just to be able to make a play for my team. What do you all got to build on, uh, going into this game against the Giants? So it looks like things coming together. Um, you know, just... You know, play, keep coming together as a defense and find a way to, you know, get offense back the ball so they can score points and things like that and find a way to come out uh, with a W. Yeah, I mean, there was a moment in the game on Sunday where it was like, boy, punched the ball out, AJ made that really great PBU that he ended up getting hurt. Marlon had that sack. It was just a, a three and out that I thought was very encompassing of what y'all want to look like. Can you kind of speak to that moment and how it kind of exemplified what you want to see it to be? Uh, I think uh, we just found out who we were. We got a good groove. We had some momentum going into it, and we knew that uh, you know we had confidence in ourselves, and we knew we could do it. Uh, and we could probably pull something out, maybe pull the win out. It didn't uh, happen like that, but just to see us and uh, see them still playing, you know, hard football and things like that, that was good. Um, this really doesn't relate specifically to this defense, but, you know, going back to, to Sunday and there were a lot of tip balls, like Tampa Bay tips a lot of match passes, and I was just curious, like, from your perspective, how do you teach that? How do you learn that? Like, is there something that you're looking at and you working with your hand up to? No, I think it's just instincts uh, okay. and then, you know, Schemes during out the week, probably know. All right, this in this formation, they probably do quick game or something like that. So, you know, just want to get into them and hurt and get our hands up. And Tui did a really good job of that. Yeah. Brady actually almost tried to pack the ball back to Leonard, and um, Tui almost caught a pick. It would have been a crazy play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. When you see a guy like Tui who's lost so much weight and kind of evolved from a ta defensive tackle to a to a linebacker, what do you think? Um, I did it, so, you know, he probably just came into his body. I was 280 pounds uh, my freshman year at UF, and now I'm like 245, 250, so you like that sometimes. Do you think that's the way the NFL game is evolving? Um, from what it looks like, yeah. Do you feel more comfortable at 245 than 280? Um, yeah, me personally, I just feel faster, more I can bend and do all that stuff. When I was 280, I was just baby fat sitting on the couch eating McDonald's every day, waiting to get a call to go to UF. So them, them telling me I was cleared. So that's all that was. It's a lot of baby fat. A lot of baby fat. I'm from the South, so I was eating McDonald's, Popeyes, Church's Chicken, all the good stuff. Are you a guy that's hard to gain weight or hard to lose weight? Is it, is um, this, is it pretty easy actually, for you to maintain right here? Actually, I can kind of do both. I can lose a lot of weight and I can actually get big, pretty big. Dr. Okay, you uh, talked about, you know, last year and over the summer how you were, you were injured and it was a big struggle for you as far as, you know, being able to, you know, perform like you want to. Like, do you feel like you're back 100% as far as, you know, like being able to get off, you know, using your hands and everything as far as uh, just being able to function? Yeah, um, these past games, I haven't been having to worry about, you know, lateral movements, getting off the blocks, and knowing that if I do a certain movement, my ankle will probably give out and stuff like that. And I'm just out there just being able to play. I'm healthy, I don't have to worry about none of that stuff. So um, I think that game last week kind of showed me that I was uh, ready to go, and um, I'm just getting back into myself. So that was a pretty cool game to start off with. Don, so what ankle? challenges? Oh, go ahead, Chris. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. When you talk about your ankle giving out, what when you say that? Is that something you're thinking about when you're playing, and what kind of move? No, I'm not thinking about it. Just knowing, you know, that it was hurt last year and stuff like that. And yeah. it's going into this year, knowing that it's not hurt and I can do what I want to do. So basically, when I say that, I mean like, for instance, like um, me getting off a block now, shedding somebody, going lateral, it's more easier this year than it was last year. you with his legs no you just know you watch film every day and you basically see him running 70 yard 80 yard touchdowns by itself so you just know you can't let him out of the pocket what do you think the some of the things that you and the rest of the defensive line have done well this this season so far that you can continue i think we've been
been getting pressure on the quarterback, so that's pretty good. How about some of the things that y'all can do? Get to the quarterback. You know, consistently, just always, you know, having pressure and wrecking havoc and trying to uh, change the game. What's your comfort level with Dean's defense at this point? I love Dean's de defense. It's my favorite defense since I've been in Wade Phillips' defense in L.A. We went to a Super Bowl, and we did a lot of good things. I had a really great season, so um, I love his defense. Wow, what about it do you like? Um, first of all, it's a multiple defense, so you're just not standing in one place. He moves a lot of players around, and he's uh, put a lot of positions and set them up to be in uh, great positions to make plays. It's just up to us to make them. Do you see similarities between your role in Wade's defense and your role in this one? Most definitely. What, what do you mean by that exactly? Because um, I haven't seen Wade Phillips, so you and Wade Phillips defense. Are well, watching. Wade, he just did a multiple. We could stand up. We was um, rush off the edge. We're coming in the insides, doing stunt games. It was just a fun defense. And this is a little maybe random, but why just switch from 56 to 6? Because I was number six all my life, and um, I was six in Little League football, wore number six in high school, wore number six at UF. And then when I got to the NFL, I had to wear number 56 because during that time, the um, linebackers, the defensive linemen, they had to wear like numbers 40 and up or something like that. So they just changed the rule. And uh, that's something that I've been hoping that they, did, that they do, and they ended up doing it. So it was pretty cool. You know, as a kid playing Madden and stuff, I would create a player and I would make me number six and stuff like that because I know it was going to happen in real life. So now that I have the opportunity to do it, I just want to do it. So I appreciate Coach Smith giving me the number. So would you, would you, when you create, did you create yourself as your position now? In no, I was running back every <laughs> time, baby. Well, what was it, 280? What was your weight? No, nah, whatever, probably like 220, 225. But, you know, the attribute is going to be on 99. Every day 99, so it ain't matter. Did the six have any, any special meaning to you? Or you just like to go? Uh, just special meaning because, um, I just, it was always my number since uh, since I was a kid. I remember the first time I was playing at Northeast Bandits and uh, we used to have nice jerseys and before the season started, they used to do jersey presentations of how the jerseys used to look. And one time, the uh, equipment manager was showing off a white, nice jersey and they had number six and I was just like, that's my jersey. <laughs> and that's, I mean, that's been my number ever since. How old were you? Uh, I was probably like 10 years old. Well, I was hoping you were going to say you were like 6, right? Nah. You know, good symmetry there. Yeah. Did you have the old purchase on it? Uh, did you go with the 6 jerseys? Did you have the purchase? Uh, I don't think so. I hope not. <laughs> you don't think so? I was going to say, you know that was like kind of the rule, right? It comes out to check? I don't know. It probably does come out my check. Fortunately, I can, I can live like that. So. Yeah, that is, that is true. And uh, what about the, you talked about Church's Chicken and the Chicken Spots. Do you have a favorite Chicken Spot here? Yeah. I mean, here I love I love all the spots here. Soul Food, they got a lot of nice uh, spots here. Can't really think of them off the name, but uh, I think it's kind of like Mama Bees or something like that. Mama Bees, yeah. A lot of nice places, but you know, Popeyes. I try to eat Popeyes like every Friday or something before the game. Cool. What's your order? Just two peas, breast, hot, spicy, white meat, with fries. Appreciate it. Awesome. Thank.